right, for this exercise, you will need a cleaver, grease pencil and ruler, laser, fiber strippers, Kevlar shears, a fusion splicer, chem wipes, and alcohol. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the fiber, the piece of cable we have in half. All right, so you can use your China marker, grease pencil, and your ruler. You're gonna need about 30, 30 millimeters, so just under three centimeters of bare fiber on each side. Or you can go ahead and put your splice sleeve on one side. So you can go ahead and use a chem wipe and isopropyl alcohol, clean it off. You always do it before you do your cleaving. After you cleave, never uh, use any kind of chemical to clean it. It'll leave a residue on the ends, uh, the end faces where they're going to join together. All right, so open up the lid of the fusion splicer. Get out the guides. You know, have a right guide and a left guide. Position the fiber in there to where the edge of the tight buffer is at the very tip of the fiber guide. All right, so go ahead and get the fiber, set it in your guide. Make sure the end of the tight buffer is positioned at the end of the fiber holder. All right, so go ahead and grab your handy cleaver, uh, lock the blade, set the guide in there, make sure it's all the way forward, and then go ahead and push down the top of it. All right, set the guide into the fusion splicer using these two guide pins. All right, go ahead and close the lid. Verify your fusion splicer is set for the fiber and splice sleeve length that you're using. All right, so first thing, check your settings at the bottom. It should say multi-mode, 60 millimeters. All right, so we are using a 60 millimeter splice sleeve. We are using multi-mode cables. So we know we're set good. So go ahead and follow the buttons on the screen. It should say green button for start. Let's go ahead and hit start. Just gonna feed them in, do an arc check, make sure they're clean, check them if they're lined up, and if it's good, then it'll just start splicing. Beep indicates that the splice is complete. Go ahead and open the lid. Yeah. So make sure your splice is centered in the splice sleeve and make sure the splice sleeve is centered in the oven. If not, make sure you hold it tight when we put, I'll give you the instructions how to put it in there. If you don't do it like that, it'll, it'll heat uneven. All right, so put the right side in first, your right, and latch down the holder. You can actually just pull down on the fiber, it'll shut it on its own, and then keep it tight, there you go. Close the lid and go ahead and hit the yellow button to start the oven. All right, once it beeps, you'll hear, before it beeps, you'll hear a fan turn on. Then once it beeps, we're done. Yeah, it's done. Okay. All right, careful, it's gonna be hot. Okay. All right, now we can hook the laser up. Our visual fault locator up to one side to verify our splice quality. Verify light is still flowing through our cable like it was originally to make sure that we don't have any light escaping through our splice area. We got light coming out the other side. We can visually inspect our splice. No light escaping, so we know our splice is good. Okay. 
that's it. Splicer was good.